Now, clearly, Chef Paul Trevaux is in the kitchen today, as we all know, even though he isn't telling us anything at all about what he's doing. But before we left him anywhere near our brand new kitchen, we sent him off to the English market. I'm in Cork cooking for the Today Show, but I have no idea what I'm going to cook. But thankfully, we've got this amazing English market here. So I'm going to go in, get a little bit of inspiration, and pick up some fantastic ingredients. Five for a tenner. That's great five. Ideally done in the oven, nice and slow, and nice and tender, large, but I mean, more traditionally stews. Beautiful. What type of mushrooms are these? These are shimani brown mushrooms. Beautiful. Well, I thought I had a great idea coming in here, but those mushrooms have just thrown me right off track. That's the problem with this place. There's just way too much to choose from. Mm. Beautiful. Well, that's me sorted. I got my ingredients, and now it's time to cook. What had you planned for us, Paul? Well, I, was, I saw your cooking ability yesterday, Donnie, yes. so I was going to use button <laughs> mushrooms and give you something easy so, to do. Yeah, no, but thanks but, very much. Yeah. So I decided to go even easier, and I got these lovely brown beech mushrooms from China. I saw them down in the English market. It's something yeah. a bit different. I'd never seen them before, so I said I wanted, to, yeah. I wanted to try them. So just in case there, I've just used the back of the knife there to crush it straight in. So we have lovely fish over there as well, Paul. Yeah, I've got some beautiful ballycotton yeah. smoked salmon. And... So what exactly are you going to make then? Well, I'm making a fresh tagatelli pasta Lovely. with bally cotton smoked salmon, dahi bean from Kerry Ulan yes. I had to bring a bit of dingle bay crab. Yeah, I hope it's Ted Brown's. Yeah, over Ted Brown's. My, yeah. ne my next door neighbour. <laughs> and uh, also a little bit of the Kerry gold butter. So I'm just breaking up these mushrooms. But as I said, if you just want to use the, the butter mushrooms, mushrooms you absolutely, can. you can use anything. I just I haven't seen these they, before. They, so. they look cool as well inside. Them. They are. They're a bit funky. Yeah, because obviously yeah. I, I, I don't know if you know, but Frank is actually a chef as well. So he's. He'll be over tasting your food. This is a kind of a surprise tactic we have for all our chefs. I'm under pressure. I'm under pressure. Uh, pressure's for Tyler. <laughs> now, so I've just put a little bit of dried herbs in there. Yeah. And dried herbs are great because everybody has them at home. So don't be afraid. We don't always have the fresh ones. And because we're using smoked salmon, I'm going to put a little bit of salt in at the start. Yeah. Because smoked salmon can be a little bit salty. So we'll, we'll check the seasoning at the end. Yeah. Okay? So. Everybody yeah. says I can't flick a pan no. like that. Just T -t talking about fish, um, I came across a YouTube clip of you about three years ago where you were freezing your scallops off. Actually, <laughs> favor show. Have a look at this. Guys, how are we doing? You want crazy? You've got crazy. Trevo's restaurant up here in the Kerry Mountains. Tony, have a quick look around this. We're on the lakes of Killarney here. One of the most stunning views you'll get anywhere in the world. It's bloody freezing cold. Who gives a damn? Back to me, Tones. We're gonna freeze our scallops off up here. Quick zoom. Sneam, black pudding, beautiful fresh Kenmare baked scallops. Let's get cooking. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Whose idea was to do this? Whose idea was to do it? <laughs> they, they, they were calling with the Bear grills of Kerry. Uh, I tell you, all, yeah. all I know, Dahi, is that was the birth of the monster that is cooking with Trevo on yeah. YouTube. you got to go on. We've over 100 and, videos. And can we, what's the story about the monster, George? Yeah, because I, I saw uh, a Kerry legend, Owen Brosnan, tweeting you last night. Surely oh, yeah. to God you should have a Kerry jersey on there. That, well, Owen is actually... you sleeve black pudding. You're naming all that Kerry <laughs> stuff there, and I did with the monster jersey. Yeah. Oh, Owen is one of my best mates, so uh, yeah, he was wishing a, me luck a, for it. A great footballer as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So you, you, put, you put in the salmon late enough because... I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly, and it's and I put in about 50 mils of um, of white wine as well. And basically, what yes. you want that you want that to, to reduce down. And if you're worried about the alcohol content, just put in chicken stock, chicken chicken stock, stock even yeah. a little but bit of water. The, 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 the wine smells nice, actually. Absolutely. Yeah. And now this El, is Elsa might have something else to say now about the nutritional value of this dish, but Shinskielella. Well, I tell you, that for smells El lovely. For Elsa, I brought a lemon. Elsa, we fruit for you, so don't worry. <laughs> Now, the most important thing in cooking, Dahi, yes. is seasoning. No okay. matter what, it's seasoning. And salt and pepper are obviously se two seasons that everybody knows about. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice, three or four drops of lemon juice in everything, really okay. brings out the flavour. And the, the tag that tell you that this is kind of a, a tricky one as well. Yeah, well, this is a great way for people to cook at home fresh pasta, okay? Use a colander. If you don't have a colander, just use a sieve in boiling water. And then when you want to take it out, it's ready to go, and you just pour it straight into your pan. Very cool. Now look at that cream cheese, Dahi. It's, oh, it's, yes. it's already thickening the sauce. I don't know if we can get a close-up oh. on that. 
You don't, you don't need to. I, I can smell it for you. It's, it's beautiful. You tilt it up again, Darren Paul. Tilt it up, get a close in on that, yeah, Ben. Oh, I'd have 20,000 people laughing if I was to call Ben Tones. Tones is my mystery cameraman on YouTube. That's up, yeah. I wanted to clear that up as well because that just kind of went up the left for me, but anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you redeemed yourself very well. <laughs> now, we're about 30 seconds away, so now so we put in our crab meat. Okay? Crab. Absolutely, because the crab meat is already cooked. Yeah. So you basically just want to warm it through. And if you have it in there too soon, die, it's going to disappear. Okay, so we get the left more. Do you want to come over here? Frank, you better come Absolutely. over as well. Elsa, you better, we, we, we have a, a few a few judges here now as well. Yeah, I'm under serious pressure. Not at all. A couple of foodies with me now here. Now, Maura, I'll give you ample warning. This dish is quite saucy like yourself. Okay. So just... Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. just, just... Sick at the time. Okay. And, uh, we're going to come back to you Thank because you we're, always, we're under pressure. We're going to we're going to take a quick break and we shall come back to you. And I think we've got a little bit of weather for you, so we'll talk about scallops and weather after this. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. Now you're very welcome back. We have to apologise because before the break we had a few technical issues, which we had to leave in the middle of Paul Travaux. But this is the lovely result of his fantastic cooking. What was he was losing the running run of himself. That's what well, so we threw him off there. That's actually what really happened. What did you have? Tagatelli with salmon? With salmon, yeah. There's a uh, dingle bay crab inside there as well. Small bit of white wine. Mm. Lovely cream for you, Elsa. What do you, do you think approve?